So this little moth is one of the prominents, and you can tell it's one of the prominent moths because it has its feet splayed out in front of it there, its front legs, you can see them, little hairy legs, little feet. But if you turn it around to the side, you can see more patterns on it. And this one is called the pebble prominent. One of the really cool things about this moth is that its caterpillars have an amazing shape. They really look contorted and twisted. This is the glorious cream spot tiger moth. And just look at that. It's got the most amazing velvety black wings with these striking cream splodges that give it its name. And underneath those four wings, those black and cream four wings, are a bright pair of yellow underwings. So just look at that. Surely a winner in the category of most glamorous of moths. So this is the nut tree tussock moth, which I have to say is one of my favourites. And it's probably one of my favourites because it's one of the first moths I caught when I started moth trapping. And it is just so cute, so furry. You see the furry head and these really fluffy legs. It's a fantastic looking moth, gorgeous chocolate brown and cream colouring. And I say it is probably the friendliest moth because it has been sat on my finger for a while now and will probably sit there for a good while yet. This is a lime hawk moth. They're called hawk moths because they are swift in their flight. They go very quickly, just like birds of prey, like falcons and kestrels. That's why they're called hawk moths. How about this for a cool moth? This I was so pleased to see in the trap. I didn't know if I got them here where I live, so I'm on West Sussex Hampshire border. Never seen one before here. But this is a privet hawk moth. So it's the heaviest of our hawk moths, really big bodied. And it's got this amazing pinky reddish and black striped body and the hind wings as well, striped with pink and black. And this is my favorite moth of all. This is the eyed hawk moth. Look at the camouflage here. Doesn't this moth look just like dead leaves? But it's got a trick up its sleeve, because it looks like dead leaves, but as soon as a bird comes anywhere near it and tries to peck at it, it flashes out its eye spots from underneath with these blue-grey eyes and pink flash. And that's a flash coloration, which means that as the bird sees the moth, it gets startled and the moth has a chance to get away. <laughs> 